Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the magnetic force between two balls problem from Lead Code and the number for this is 1552. So let's start with the problem. In the universe uh, Earth C137, Rick had uh, discovered a special form of magnetic force between two balls if they are put into his new invented baskets. Now Rick has n empty baskets and the ith basket is at uh, position i. Now Morty has m balls and he needs to distribute the balls into baskets such that minimum magnetic force between any two balls is maximum. So Rick has start, stated that the magnetic force between two different balls at position x and y is x minus y mod modulus of x minus y. So given the integer array position and the number of balls we have to return the required force. So we have to keep the keep in mind that we have to keep the maximum force for the balls and uh, it can be only formed when x minus y is maximum so we have to place the balls at the maximum distance where it is possible this problem is similar to aggressive cows problem as you might have solved so the we can use a binary search optimization because it allows us to like check for each value so what we are going to do we are going to simply sort the positions array we are going to sort the positions array in the ascending order then we will be applying binary search and binary search on what on the distance at which we can keep the balls like we will apply from uh, low to high and we will take a mid and what will be this mid so this mid will be the um, relative distance between the two walls. So we will check for each mid value if it is possible to keep keep the balls uh, keep the balls and get a number. If yes then we can keep the answer and maybe try for a better one that is we can try for a bigger mid because we want to keep the balls as far as possible. So the first step was sorting. Then the next step we set low to 1 and high to position of n minus uh, n minus 1 and position of 0 divided by the number of balls minus 1. So this we have done because this is the maximum possible minimum distance between the two walls that is possible. So the minimum position minus the, the maximum position minus the minimum position divided by the number of balls minus 1 this will be the maximum possible distance between any two walls. The next is to simply iterate over the binary search. So we will do simple binary search operation while low is less than high we will calculate, we will calculate the mid and check feasibility. And how we will be checking the feasibility we will be checking using a helper function um, can we place. So this can we place function tells us if we can keep the balls at mid distance from each other and all the balls can be placed or not. If the placement is feasible we can set the answer to mid and move to uh, low and mid minus 1 otherwise we can move to high and mid minus 1 because we want to search our possible all the possible answers and we want to keep the maximum. So and at the end we can return the answer. So let's see Let's come to the coding section but before that do like the video, share it with your friend and subscribe to the channel. So the first step was sorting the position array. So we have sorted that. Next step was setting up the binary search. So we have set low to 1, high to position of the largest position minus the shortest position upon balls minus 1. And we have set the answer to 1 initially. In the next case, we simply do the binary search operations low less than high mid equal to low plus high minus low by 2 and then, then we check for the feasibility. If this is if we can place all the balls at mid position, then store the answer mid because this mid is a possible answer and we can check for a greater possible answer by shifting the lower range to mid. So we'll try to find another, maybe a bigger uh, answer. Else part, if we cannot place, then simply reduce the higher range to mid minus one, because if it is not possible at mid, might be possible that there may be answer in mid minus one. So 
that's why we do a high minus one and we can simply return the answer here in the can we place function it is uh, this can we place function is you can see is entirely same as we have kept in the aggressive cows problem that's why i have kept cnt count count of cows int last equal to r of zero and we simply try to check if it is possible to keep all the all the balls at the this distance that is the mid distance from each other if it is possible and uh, and if while placing this we encounter that yes we can place all the all the balls and it is uh, placed and we can still place then we can return true otherwise we get can return false so this was the solution to this problem pretty simple and it is more likely to the question which was yesterday like flowers bloom day so i hope you understood the logic you can also see the c++ python in the javascript solution by going to the solutions panel and you can check this solution this is my solution where you can find the intuition the approach complexity step by step analysis the code java code c++ python javascript and yes do remember to upload me i hope you understood the logic do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel thank you for watching the video have a nice day